Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing my November book haul. So I went a little crazy this month with the books. Um, so I've been, you know, pretty, you know, reserved over like the year with my book buying. But for some reason, November, I think I just went a little crazy. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So starting out, I just have like one like kind of DVD type thing, and it is uh, the complete box set of Schitt's Creek. This is quickly, this has quickly become one of my favorite shows of all time. It's just a really heartfelt comedy, I guess you could call it. This show won a lot of awards at the Emmys this year, and it's very well deserved, especially being from Canada. It's very special to have the Canadian, that small little Canadian show that could. So I'm really happy that I have the box of this one now. Um, it came like dent, which I'm a little upset about here, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that I can add this to my TV show collection. So next, these next four books were ones that I ordered from a black-owned bookstore. Um, I'll have it linked down below if you're curious which one I purchased these from. So this is the first book that I ended up getting from that order, and it is Between the World and Me by Ta Nehisi Coates, which is a very popular book. This one talks about racism in America, talks about uh, everything from Howard University to the Civil War, and all this stuff. So I think this one would be very interesting and very eye-opening. I have another one here is I'm Still Here, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whites by Austin Channing Brown, which is another kind of um, so it says, from a leading voice of racial justice, an eye-opening account of growing up black, Christian, and female that exposes how white America's love affair with diversity so often falls short of its ideals, which again, I think is a very important read. Next up, I have Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Nanny Edo Lodge, which is another important book about racism. And then I also got White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. This is a book that I already read. I borrowed a copy from my sister when I read it, so I wanted to have my own. But definitely for these three books here, I want to read them during Black History Month. So that's my plan for these, which I think will be very good as well very eye-opening and educational and like i said i really want to kind of improve on that area so these next four books were ones that i purchased when me and my sister went to barnes and nobles and it was actually featured in one of my reading blogs i'll have that link up in the cards um, but these books will forever be like cemented in my mind when we found out that joe biden won the election so like these ones will forever have that memory for me and so i ended up getting the next three books that I needed for the Inspector Gamache series, The Beautiful Mystery, A Trick of the Light, and The Long Way Home. And so I've been slowly making my way through this series and these were the next kind of three because I had, I think I had one and then I didn't have this one and then I had two and then I didn't have these two. So they're kind of all over the place but I'm happy that I've expanded my collection of these and I will continue reading them um, in going into the new year. So hopefully by 2021, I'll be all caught up with this series. And the last book that I got on that book trip was The Enigma Game by Elizabeth Wine. This is a historical fiction YA novel taking place in World War II, and it follows this girl who ends up crossing paths with this American, or this German pilot who's crash landed in, um, Kind of their small um, Irish or Scotland village and so they end up kind of getting involved with the cracking of the Enigma code so it kind of goes off from there but this is one I don't really want to know too much about the plot about I just like going into this blind but Elizabeth Wine has wrote the Codename Verity trilogy which is probably my favorite YA historical fiction like novels ever so I'm really excited for this one she hasn't written a book in a while so I'm I have really high expectations for this one so this is one that I'm super excited about and I've never read anything by this author and she's very popular here on book two so I feel like this is like a rite of passage for me and it's the little the invisible life of Addie LaRue and this basically follows this woman who makes a deal with the devil and in, in asking to live forever but the catch was that no one would remember who she is so she goes through her life basically invisible until she walks into 
this bookstore and someone remembers her it kind of goes off from there like i said this is my first victoria schwab book so i'm really excited about this one i've heard really great things about this one too so i'm really excited for it so like i said this is very much a rite of passage for me in terms of the booktube you know book type things because i've never read anything from this author before this is probably one of the most anticipated books of the year and it finally came out and it is a promised land by Barack Obama. I'm super excited to read this. It is very long. It's over 700 pages, but I think it will be really amazing. Um, I love Barack Obama. I love Michelle Obama's Becoming book, so I'm really excited for this. My sister has a copy too, and she's already reading it, and she says she really, really enjoys it, so I think this one will be a good one to read over winter break because it will just, I'll have a lot of time to dedicate to it, but he had a lot to say apparently, but I'm really excited for this. I'd love to kind of learn more about him, so I, like I said, my most anticipated, probably one of my most ante anticipated books of this year. And lastly, this is one that I was super excited about, and it is The Awakening by Nora Roberts, and this is her new The Dragonheart Legacy trilogy, um, book one. And I read the year one trilogy, which was very much stepping outside my comfort zone, but that quickly became one of my favorite fantasy trilogies of all time so i really <laughs> was excited for this one but i think it's something that does with i didn't want to know like i'm really bad at this because i like buy books and not wanting to know the, too much about the plot i like to kind of go into them blind and this is how it is for this one but i know it involves dragons so i'll just kind of read the small little blurb at the top so in the realm of Talum, a teenage warrior named Keegan emerges from a lake holding a sword, representing both power and the terrifying responsibility to protect the Fae. In another realm known as Philadelphia, a young middle school teacher has just discovered she possesses a treasure of her own. And so I'm really excited for this. Like I said, I love Nora Roberts trilogies and I hope this one will be a lot of fun. I haven't read like a fantasy like this in a long time, so I'm really excited. <laughs> That's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what some of the books you got this month were and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.